What's up, Rust Stations? Welcome back to Let's Get Rusty, your number one resource for all things Rust. If you're new to learning Rust, one of the first things you might ask is what should I build with Rust to get some real world experience? So in today's video, we're going to be going over some project ideas that you can implement in Rust. But before that, if you haven't already, make sure to get your free Rust cheat sheet by heading over to letsgetrusty.com forward slash cheat sheet. All right, let's dive into the video. The first type of application you can build to get some real world experience with Rust is a CLI application. And here are some ideas. The first one is recreating an existing program. For example, recreating grep in Rust. The second idea is to create a CLI application that automates some tasks for you. For example, maybe you want to sync files on your local machine to an S3 bucket, or you can build a CLI program that takes in some configuration and then creates a project structure, kind of like create React app. And lastly, you can implement a simple CLI game like a text adventure game or something like tic-tac-toe. The second type of application you can build is a web server. For example, you can build an API which powers a to-do list or a blog site using MySQL or Postgres as a database. For the web server itself, you can use popular frameworks such as Rocket, Actix Web, and Warp. Or instead of building your own server, you can choose to run your Rust code in an AWS Lambda. By the way, I'll have links in the description to the frameworks I mentioned, and also a blog post explaining how to use Rust in an AWS Lambda. You can also build a backend application that provides real-time data using WebSockets or server-side events. This backend could power a chat app or a live dashboard that shows stock or crypto data, for example. And lastly, you can build a backend application that does web scraping. I'll leave a link in the description to a blog post which explains how to do web scraping in Rust. The third type of application you can build is a WebAssembly application. For example, you can create a JavaScript application which applies filters to an image and then move all the calculations and the math to Rust. Now, besides these options, another approach you can take is to convert an existing application to Rust, whether that be an existing CLI application or an existing web server application. And if you don't want to convert an entire application, then you can convert a component of your application to Rust. And lastly, if you want to get some experience with Rust but don't want to do an entire project, then consider going to exorcism.org and trying out some coding challenges in Rust. One last thing I'll say about projects is that it doesn't really matter which project you pick as long as you pick something and then commit to building it out. All right, that's it for this video. Let me know down in the comments what type of Rust projects you're working on. I'd be curious to know. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see weekly Rust content, make sure to subscribe. Lastly, get your free Rust cheat sheet by heading over to letsgetrusty.com forward slash cheat sheet. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one.